even speaking. When he speaks, you can trust what he says. Let me give you number two. Is someone learning? We must become people of prayer. There are many believers who pray, but they do not pray with the consciousness of tapping into the wisdom of the Spirit. You can pray for transformation. You can pray for warfare. But there are times you can pray and imagine a man climbing a ladder while you are praying. You are ascending to the spirit, bringing your ears closer to the heart of God by the spirit. Then his word comes. No, do not do it this way. Do it this way. Do not do it this way. Do it this way. Oh, you are taking this step. Hold on. Do it this way. And you obey God with childlike faith and you return back with extraordinary results. The people that you see that look invincible, they are not necessarily extraordinary in themselves. They have just learned how to wait until he speaks. Hallelujah. The second key I will give you now and then we'll wrap up. You want to step into this dominion. It's going to happen when you honor the people who God has placed this grace upon and that you can receive genuinely through hunger, through service and through honor. Please listen to this as we wrap up. There are dimensions in the spirit in as much as Christ died to make it available. The administration of those graces depend on transference of mantles and graces from the carriers of this grace to those who need them. Please believe me. There are people today who embody the grace for wealth and abundance not by making empty noise. It is a grace God gave them. There are people today who God has placed his hand upon them. Unusual understanding into the realm of the spirit and how to administer victory over unclean spirits. You will never tap into that grace dishonoring these vessels. It is the reason why we advocate honor. You see the reason why many people remain incapacitated because generally it's almost become a fashion to criticize areas that you do not see working in your life. I don't know where we got that satanic campaign, but I pray that that thing leaves the body of Christ. That when people find out that there is an area they are not stepping into, they downplay it, they demean it. So you see someone talking and x-raying the issue of unclean spirits and talking with authority and that person cannot cast out a single spirit and liberate families. Empty talk without the grace for performance. How about those who criticize? There are people who have the F on tree to criticize men like Benny Hinn and shout over people and then you find out that they do not have the grace to heal even a common headache. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, let me teach you this. You will never step into a dimension of grace you dishonor. It's a principle that you must learn. The moment you make it as part of your life to dishonor the body, dishonor fathers, dishonor carriers of this grace. I'm not teaching human worship. And sometimes I know that we men of God have found ourselves victims of subjugating people because of the little grace that God has given. That in itself is wrong. However, anointing answers to honor. Anointing answers to genuine honor. You can honor your way into realms where you access graces that can put you in charge indeed. And part of what you are about to receive shortly is prayer to impart that grace upon your life. I remember many years ago, I used to see people pray and cast out devils and it was it was like I was watching a movie what in the world is this what sort of authority is this how do you command spirits to exit the lives and the destinies of people in my ignorance and limited knowledge I made up my mind from my spirit and seeing from scripture that I would step into this grace there has to be that understanding that releases that authority how about sicknesses and diseases? I would watch Benny Hinn, T.L. Osborne, Charles and Francis Hunter, these mighty men, and you see their meetings, you think they are joking, until they make declarations and you see all manner of healings. Rain had bunker, and I said, come on God, the same Lord is rich unto all.
there has to be something this healing anointing is real where is it lord bring it within my reach i remember buying the videos of charles and francis hunter buying their books tl osborne's books benny Hinn, because I could not access them directly, but I said I will honor their materials and I will keep it side by side with scripture. And then when it had to do with the grace for favor, I initially kept looking at the grace for prosperity, but I found that prosperity was a subset of favor. You can have money without favor, but it's impossible to have the favor of God upon your life and be bankrupt economically and i searched for people when i found people like dr mike mudok i camped around their teachings and said lord whatever grace you placed upon this man there has to be a way out these are people who god has helped kenneth copeland god helped them i said no we have to camp around these things when this grace comes on you you know it has arrived you truly know it has arrived graces are transferable that's why nobody needs to remain in that low level we may not all be at the same level per time but everybody can enter a level that makes your christian experience a delight to behold hallelujah and in the next few minutes i want to pray over your life many of you will be surprised that by reason of this impartation you will go back home and they will tell you that someone has been manifesting under the influence of spirits you will stand and you will think it's a joke you will say in the name of jesus and watch those devils leave in a moment never to return and then you will see doors open over your family members they will call you pastor and you say i'm not a pastor they say that's that's none of our business whoever can cast out a devil like this is our pastor how about sickness there are some of you who will carry these hands that you see god has given you it's not just for eating you will carry these hands and lay it upon people and watch with wonder growths satanic manifestations in their bodies will just dry up like that and they will ask you what happened and you will tell them it's true that god gives gifts to men god can give gifts to men god can empower men and then some of you when the grace for favor rests upon your life i heard one of our dear sisters who was testifying here you will marvel and wonder it does not take long for this to happen you will see god moving in your life in a way that will surprise you ideas you did not think of downloaded in your spirit strategies by the spirit on what to do and what not to do all it be it by the spirit i want you to rise in one minute and you are going to pray one prayer and then i pray for you father in the name of jesus i open up my heart and i open up my spirit